I've done many videos before about how you can use the testimonial carousel to create bespoke sliders. But some people struggle with that because they go, well, it's a testimonial, you've got an image, you've got content, a title. How can I make a custom slider? The solution is creating a template, get the short code and stick that into your slider. Now, I'm going to do that really simply for a testimonial carousel. And if you follow this through and make it bespoke to what you want, you know, whatever you want, honestly, you can make it work for you. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is create the template. So we're in save template. I'm going to click add new and I'm going to pick section. I'm going to call this uh, testimonial tab one. You might have testimonial tab two, tab three, or give it another special name. Let's create the template. I'm going to hit a plus sign and I'm going to go for one section. I could have two, three, four, whatever you want. This is elemental. Go away and play and do what works for you. I am, however, going to be very um, uh, precise over what this is showing. So let's pretend we're going to have a slider that's got, say, three slides showing at any one time. And the width of that page or the box width is going to be 1,200. If I divide that by three, I get 400 pixels. But I might want to add in a little bit of breathing space between the slides as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a box and I'm going to go for 380 as a pixel width. I'm going to have no gap and the height is going to be a minimum height like that at the moment. And I'm just going to make sure that this section, the column position is in the middle. That's all I'm really going to do to this at the moment. Now what I can do is start adding in my content as you would do normally. Basically, you can do whatever you want within here. So what we now have, and I've added in a bit more spacing into the columns gap, we now have our first tab. Let's publish that. Now, when we go back to our templates, can you see now we have this short code? You pick up the short code. Then what you do is go to your page where you're going to have your testimonial carousel. I'm going to drop in testimonial carousel over here. I'm going to make this a boxed width of 1,200 in terms of the page size. I'm not going to I'm not going to mess around too much yet with the style of how it looks just yet. I'm going to click onto the testimonial carousel. And I'm just going to get rid of all the items so I have just one item. And I'm not going to worry about the navigation because you should know how to do this, okay? You know, if you want to have arrows or pagination dots and stuff like that, you can do that. But really what is key is when I go to the very first slide, this is where you would have what is traditional testimonial carousel. You know, the title, the name, the image. I'm going to get rid of all of that. I'm going to get rid of the image by deleting it. Hit the delete button, it's gone. I'm going to get rid of the name. I'm going to get rid of the CSO and I'm now going to get rid of the content. So what I should have is nothing present at all, but it's inside the content where you are going to paste the short code like this. Now, when you do this, that's all you're going to see. And you might sit there going, well, what was the point of that? So if I now hit preview, there we have it. Now that's not moving because it is literally just one tab. We haven't even set it to slide or anything yet. Let's go back into our page. Now, I am going to duplicate this. I'm just copying the same short code. You would obviously have a different short code, okay? And, uh, you know, you can be as varied as you want, videos, Google Maps, whatever you want. If we now go down here, we can see that it says slides per view. I'm gonna set this to be three, okay? And I'm gonna say that every time it slides, it's gonna slide one at a time and that should kind of be okay. You can also modify the width of this as well. I would leave it as 100%, but if you want to modify, go ahead and do that. And don't forget with your slides, you can add in some extra spacing if you want. So I'll add in about 20 there. Inside additional options, I'm going to just make this a little bit quicker, okay, just so you can see it moving. Okay, I'm going to do it as 2,000, which is two seconds. 5,000 is five seconds, okay? So let's just update that. And let's now have a look at it. There we go. Look, every two seconds it's moving. That's a bespoke slider. OK, yes, you have the um, slider widget and all of that. But if you're being really bespoke with what you want to show, this is a great way to do it. You, you create a template, you get the short code, you get the testimonial carousel. OK, you delete out the content. Look, remember over here, you delete the content, you delete everything out and then you just paste it in the short code into the content bit. And there we go. Hey, presto, you're good to go. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and get testimonial carousoling. That didn't sound good at all, did it? Take care. See you soon.